How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nobel Tech and today we're going to talk about the iPad's coolest new feature which is Stage Manager as you can see right here. So in this video I'm going to tell you absolutely everything you need to know. So how to enable it, how to set it up and how to fully customize Stage Manager on your iPad which as you can see is honestly a game changer, is a desktop view for your iPad finally. So let's begin and the first thing I want to talk about is compatibility because unfortunately Stage Manager is not compatible with all iPads. Actually just a few models. So as you can see right here straight from Apple support it's only compatible with the iPad Pro 12.9 inch which is this model from the third generation and newer. Uh, the iPad Pro 11 inch, the smaller version, first generation and newer and also the iPad Air 5th generation. So just these few models, but maybe Apple will add support to more devices lately. So if you have one of those devices, pay attention, because as I said, this is a game changer. And even if you don't have one of those iPads, pay attention as well, because maybe this is the reason why you wanna upgrade your iPad. So first off, how to enable the feature, how to enable Stage Manager. And as you saw, it's super easy because all you have to do is pull down the control center and tap on this icon, the display with the three dots, which is the Stage Manager icon. As you tap on that to disable, as you can see, it goes back to normal. So the app is actually filling the whole screen. So you have one app per screen, filling the whole thing. And if you go ahead and re-enable Stage Manager, now you have this view, which you have one app right here in the middle, and then you have on the side four recent apps or groups of apps, we're gonna talk about that in a second, and here in the bottom we have the dock. So let me explain you how you can actually customize it because it's full of customization and you can actually make this look like a computer. This is super cool. So as you tap on the three dots right there at the top, those are first possibilities to customize your stage manager. The first option you have is full screen. So maybe you are on stage manager, but you want to see the app on full screen. So you tap there and then it goes full screen just like it used to be. This is useful, as I said, if you want to see it full screen, like taking up the whole screen. But of course, if you have stage manager turned on, all you have to do is actually flick from this right here, right the bottom right corner, and then it goes back to Stage Manager as you just saw. And then as you tap on the three dots once again, you have the possibility to add another window because of course, Stage Manager is not just seeing one uh, window and then all these miniatures. No, you can have multiple windows. So then if you tap on add another window, you will open up automatically your list, your app switcher. So the apps you were uh, seeing recently. So for example, let's say I wanna add music. So as I tap on music, as you can see, you're getting the idea of Stage Manager right now. So then you have Safari, which we were seeing. We have right here music, we have our dock, and we have our recent apps as well, which if you want to take a look, all you have to do is actually uh, flick from left to right, keep holding a little bit, let go, and then as you can see, we have our four recent apps, Safari, and music so we have quite a few possibilities here of course you can rearrange all of that and I'm gonna show you in a second but let's still talk about the three dots so let's say I want to tap on the three dots once again right here and let's say I don't want music anymore I can tap here and minimize it and then it goes back here keeping the original format very very cool right and if I want to bring it back all I have to do is tap and hold bring it back and then I can bring exactly where it was. And then if I tap on the three dots once again, I have the possibility to completely close this app if I don't wanna have it at all. So I can tap here, it'll just completely go close and go away. Now, of course, we have the possibility to rearrange those apps as well because maybe this organization here is not exactly what we want. So then you have pretty much one possibility, which is at the top, you can tap anywhere at the top and move your app. So then for example, you can put it right here to the left or maybe to the right and then you can move it just like that as you guys can see. The other possibility is tapping here on this little handle and then that's how you can actually make it smaller or larger. So then if I put it to the top as you can see right here, then I can easily rearrange it 
left, right, make it smaller or larger. Same thing with the other window. If I tap here on Safari, I can do the exact same thing to look at the handle right here, and then I can make it smaller. For example, it's almost looking like an iPhone, right? Or I can make it larger as well. And then I can easily tap on one, tap on the other, tap on one, tap on the other, and then I can fully use those apps. So then that's pretty much how you can actually move them around customize them, resize, and everything like that. And of course, you can always, always pull from the left to the right, keep holding, and then you have your two windows, your two apps, and you have the recent ones right here as well. But of course, you can use more than two apps, more than two windows at the same time. Actually, you can use up to four, and you're not really obliged to actually pull apps from this side right here. It can actually add from the dock as well. So let's say I wanna pull my files app right here to my stage manager. All I have to do is tap and hold, move it, and as you can see right here, I have three windows right now. So then I have my files, my iCloud drive, I have my, my music, and I have my Safari. So as you guys can see, Safari, music, and my files right here. And I can rearrange them all. Maybe I want my, my iCloud drive to be really, really small. I can do that exactly. As you could see, sometimes some of my movements and my gestures are not picking up 100%, and that's because Stage Manager is not 100% finished just yet. It's a final feature, everyone can use it if you have a compatible iPad, but it's not finished 100%, it's still a little bit buggy, but it's 100% functional, okay? so. Uh, let me add another one just to prove it to you. So I'm gonna pull here, and let's say I wanna add weather. So tap and hold, and then I'm gonna put weather right here. So then I have four at the same time. So I'm gonna tap here in the middle, and then I have weather, music, files, and Safari. That's right, four apps at the same time. And of course I can rearrange, regroup, and make them smaller or larger depending on what I want to do. And to make this even better, I love Stage Manager because the apps stay grouped. So for example, if I exit and I go back to my home screen and I actually swipe up to go to my app switcher, as you can see right here, it stays as a group, as I said. So then I have music, files, uh, Safari, and weather as a group. So for example, if I tap on YouTube, which is only a single app in my Stage Manager, I have YouTube right here, but then I have right there my four apps, which I can simply tap, as you can see right there, tap on that, and then it goes back to my main view in Stage Manager. Another way to customize your Stage Manager view, which I absolutely love, is if you have a mouse connected to your iPad. It could be a normal Bluetooth mouse or maybe the smart keyboard. So then I have a mouse, as you can see, I'm moving my mouse right there, that's my mouse. So then I can easily resize as well. As I put here next to the edge of the screen, you see the icon moves. So then I can go ahead and resize it and then tap on another app. Same thing, I can resize it. And then it's a very easy way to actually resize if you have a ton of windows and if you're using Stage Manager with uh, a keyboard or a trackpad, which is my case right here. So very easy way to resize everything, move it around. I really love this possibility as well. So then as you can see right here. And one final customization has to do with your settings. So if you tap on settings, and then as you can see, settings doesn't really work with Stage Manager, it goes full screen no matter what, uh, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. As I said, it's a little bit buggy still, but if you go to your settings and then you scroll down a little bit until you see home screen and multitasking, you have the last option, which is Stage Manager. You have a cool little customization where you can enable or disable your recent apps in your dock while you're using Stage Manager. So for example, let's say I don't wanna see my apps, my dock all the time while using Stage Manager, I can tap here to disable it, as you can see, and as I go back, let's go back to our group of apps right here, as you can see, the docks go away. And that's a really good possibility if you have a smaller iPad, like an iPad Air or an iPad Pro 11 inch, because maybe the dock is in your way, and now you can make it much larger and it's much more interesting actually to have a look at everything all like that. I really like this possibility. And if you wanna use the dock, all you have to do is flick up and you'll see the dock as well, but it will go away after a few seconds. Okay, so that's it. An in-depth view of Stage Manager on the iPad and tell me, 
Isn't it one of the coolest new features on the iPad? In my opinion, it is. So if you liked it, please make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe and tap on the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video and leave your comment down below. Your feedback is super important. I'm always having a look. So that's it. And I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye bye guys.